So far, most of our cases have been about appearance, fixing bad teeth, creating the perfect smile, and giving people back their confidence. And those things are important. But it turns out that looking after your teeth and gums could also be the secret to a longer life. Today is actually a really big day for me because I am joining the clinical trial that's investigating the science behind these claims. But unfortunately, in order to join the trial, I have to give myself the early stages of gum disease. I'll be joining a group of volunteers and we'll all be giving ourselves gum disease to see how it affects not only our mouths, but the rest of our body too. Let's just let your cheeks go really slack. Don't try to open too wide. Yeah, that's good. The man in charge of the experiment is Professor Ian Chappell from Birmingham Dental School. He's one of the UK's top dentists and a specialist in gum disease. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the amount of inflammation in your gums. Mm -hmm. right? This is the side that we're going to be placing the mouth guard on. Uh -huh. Ian's interested in how my mouth and body changes over the next three weeks. He'll be looking at my gums. So they look pretty healthy. OK. My mother will be delighted. I'm sure she would. What my plaque looks like. Sorry, Chris, this looks oh, pretty gross. Oh, no. Yeah, pretty gross. And he even wants to analyse my blood. What, what do you expect at the end of three weeks? Are my gums going to be bleeding everywhere? Are my teeth going to fall out? Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> and with that vote of confidence, I'm free to leave. Ian's given me a mouth guard that covers the teeth I'm not allowed to brush. It's time to get started. But within a few days, there's a side effect. Can you smell it? I can smell it. Sorry. Well, it got me a little bit of space on the, uh, on the tube anyway. And after just one week, I'm feeling pretty unloved. Let's see how this guy feels about my, uh, my bedtime breath. <laughs> Even my cat doesn't love me. There are 20 billion bacteria living in our mouths, and every day I don't brush, millions of new angry bacteria move in. It's got so bad, I've been banished to the allotment. <sighs> yes, I really hope my teeth don't fall out at the end of this experiment. Until, thankfully, three weeks are up. <laughs> There's nothing worse than bad breath. <laughs> I must say, I am looking forward to this. I bet you are. <laughs> the fur. It's time to find out just what's going on with all that fur on my teeth. OK, let's have a look then, shall we? Yeah. So this uh, is a sample of three-week-old plaque, and you can see there's a little bit of bleeding there, can't you? Yeah. Which just shows the inflammation. Yeah, my gums never bleed. No. My inflamed and bleeding gums are the telltale sign that I now have gum disease. So what state are my gums in overall? So, after three weeks of the plaque build-up, what you have now is reversible gum disease. And this is, although this is reversible, this is the early stage of it becoming irreversible. If I left this for, what, months, it would become irreversible. Yeah. And to see the effect of gum disease, Ian wants to show me two very different types of plaque. OK. So this is healthy plaque. Yep. Quiet, so... not doing much. Yep. It looks calm, it looks relaxed. That is a picture that we would expect to see from a pretty healthy mouth. If we look at this... You've helpfully put a video here. Yeah. This is bad. That's bad, yeah. I mean, this looks like a war zone, doesn't it? It's just chaos. It is. There's huge amounts of activity going on. These bugs are flying around the place. The, the whole thing's a lot more active. It's a change from health, and it's not, it's not good. And then these bugs, then, with the gum inflammation, these are the bugs leaking the toxins and maybe even getting into the blood themselves. Yes, absolutely. Ian's research shows that these bugs causing gum disease wage a long war on our immune system and over time can cause a host of other problems. This disease tends to go on quietly, silently, without being recognised for many, many years. The impact on the rest of the body, cumulatively, the, that sort of added impact enormous. year on year on year could, could be quite significant. It's enormous. Yeah. That will be bad for your heart, it will be bad for your brain, it will be bad for your blood vessels, you know, yeah. Th this, yeah. this, will, this will hurt every single organ in you. Yeah, and, and again, there are lots of big studies showing a relationship between severe gum disease and all of those conditions you've mentioned. It's amazing, in just three weeks I gave myself gum disease. And the good news is, in another two weeks, I'll get it back to normal once I get to my regular brushing routine. 
But I think what's really interesting is if I let that go on for months and months, not only would it cause permanent and irreversible damage to my teeth and my gums, but that inflammation would spread throughout my body and that would take years off my life.